Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the iClone 8 motion files into iClone 7 to make it available for any of the avatars in iClone 7 3D animation software. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you can just scroll down, go to my video description to download the iClone 8 to iClone7.ir avatar. This is one of the avatar that you are going to use in this process. Once you already download it as demo, I will just put this on my desktop. Now you can see I already put it on my desktop, the iClone 8 to iClone7.ir avatar. And the next step, you can open your iClone 8. The iClone 8. Alright, now you can see I already opened the icon 8. Now, first what you are going to do is just switch your Windows workplace to all panel. By default, the workplace may be in standard, something like this. So what you are going to do is first you switch the window workplace to all panels. Now you can see the timeline, you can see the curve editor. The next step, in your timeline here, the view you have to switch to fit to window. So next, drag in the iClone 8 to iClone7.i avatar. Drag in and put it at the center. All right, next. You are going to choose any of the iClone motion file to export. For example, I click here, I choose it in animation. This one, I have to switch it down a little bit. Never mind, it's okay. So now I can switch the window workplace to standard and I choose any of the motion file. For example, the motion here, the human, for example, human female, perform. Let's say if this is one of the iClone 8 motion file, the add-ons, I drag in to apply in this avatar first. This is the first step. Now you can see, this is the animation, All right? So next, switch Windows Workplace to All Panel. You should be able to see your timeline at here. And then, the total frame is 1800. Sometimes you can change it as well. Just come down, go to the project. You can put the end frames, let's say you can put 3000. And then you click here, fit to window, the total frame will be 3000. So in order to export it accurately, what you are going to do is just drag this so that it only includes include the range just be at, at the motion. You can see the motion will be ended at here. So the range must be putting to include the motion only. Next. From your iClone 8 trial, sorry, this is the iClone 8. Click File, Export the FBX. Make sure that your avatar already selected. Make it become frame 1 first, it's okay. Click File, Export, Export the FBX. Export it in Maya format. And then choose the range only. The range. Because you already set a range to include the motion file. So include the range only and then click export. And as demo, I'm going to export it on my desktop and the file name, I'll put it as add-ons. The FBX, I will export it as FBX. Now, it is going to export it as FBX. Where is it now? Have to wait for a while. Right click, refresh. It is here already the Air Dance FBX. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import this motion into iClone 7. So the iClone 7 is our final destination. Maybe you need it in your iClone 7. So what can you do next? You can just close the iClone 8 in order to avoid any of the confuse. Just close it and I don't save this. Next. 
you can open your 3D Exchange. Okay, this is the 3D Exchange 7. The 3D Exchange 7 pipeline, long time ago. It can be the Pro version. This is the Icon 7 generation. What you are going to do is drag in the same I avatar into Icon 3D Exchange 7. Drag in. And next, once it already finished loaded in, you have to scroll down here until you see the motion library. Then just now you have the FBX file, drag in into the motion library, and then choose the current character, click OK. Next, you click the add-ons and have a check. Have a check on this, this motion. If everything is OK, then if everything is OK, no problem. You can just click Add All to perform and then click File, Export. Export as the animation and take the export geometry. We only want the RL motions because in this tutorial, we want the iClone motion file to be available in iClone 7. So in this iClone 8 to iClone 7 i avatar in 3D Exchange 7, we are going to export the RL motion, the iClone motion file in iClone 7 format. Export the animation only, then tick export RL motion. Sorry, this one we no need. We choose the other. Export the RL motion and browse. As demo, I'm going to export it on my desktop and click OK. And you can see this is the this is the motion file name. You click OK. Now you can see it exported as the RL motion. Actually, actually this RL motion is for iClone 7. So now to try it, we may just close this and we want to test this in iClone 7. So now I'm going to open the iClone 7, the iClone 7.93, the latest version, the previous version. All right, always remember in this tutorial, I'm going to export the iClone 8 motion file into iClone 7. This is the, the, the backward compatibility pipeline tutorial. So now the Icron 7 is opening. Okay, let's have a look. This is Icron 7. To test it, all right, I may just go to the workplace and take the standards. We just want to test it in any of the random avatar. I choose from here, any of the random avatar. All right. Now, this avatar is available. All right. I drag him out to load this avatar first. Now it is loading the stream. All right. Now, this avatar is ready. We are going to test the icon motion file just now. So, it is here. The add-ons. Blah blah blah, this is the 10 motion just now. Exported from iClone 8 to iClone 7. We drag in to test on this avatar. Now I try to play. Yes, it is successfully exported to iClone 7 as the iClone motion file that compatible with iClone 7. And this is really a back, backward compatibility test and it really success. Alright, that's all for today about how to export any of the Icon 8 motion file to Icon 7 to perform the, the backward compatibility. Then this is the pipeline tutorial. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!